Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. If it's your first time on my channel, my name is Alm, and if you've been here already, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this smoky, bronzy, glam eye makeup look, which is one of my favorite smoky eyes I've done in a while. Now, before we start the video, I did wanna mention that I am wearing some eye tapes, which lift my eyes, which makes this eyeshadow look look more lifted in general. If you guys are interested, let me know because I can do a video where I show you how to apply these eyeshadow lifting tapes. They're actually really trending. I don't like to use them every day, but now and then I think it's actually super cool because it just lifts your face and your eyes. But just let me know if you guys are interested in a video on how to do this. Now I just showed you my two favorite eyeshadow primers. I used to always use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. But lately I've been really loving this paint from Hindash Cosmetics. Um, I will link it down in the description bar. I've been using it for like as a primer for my eyelids in my latest recent videos. And so far I'm really liking it. So I'm just gonna continue to use it. And then after applying it, I just set it with some translucent powder just to lock everything in place. Now, I also posted a dedicated, very in-depth smoky eye video. So if you want to see that, I will link it down in the description bar. Of course, I will be using my Sigma Beauty palette that I created together with them. And I'm going to start with the color Cottage, which is a matte white color. And I'm just using it like underneath the highest point of my eyebrow. So just blending it back and forth. Then I went in with the color Levine, which is a matte black shade. And I'm going to start blending this kind of like at the outer part. Also, you can see that I applied some eyeshadow guards, which I forgot to talk about. Um, but if you don't have those, you can also use some regular sticky tape. Um, and this will also create a super sharp edge when you remove it. So I'm just going to apply this black eyeshadow all the way in my crease. I'm trying not to apply it like super thick and super like hard, if that makes sense. I'm using a light hand, even though I'm applying quite a lot. I still want it to be kind of able to move, if that makes sense. So I'm not like super like pressing it on the eyelid. Um, then I went in with this color, which is like a brown shade. And I'm going to use this like around the edge of where I applied the black eyeshadow to make a nice transition that goes lighter up. So I'm just taking my time with this. I just really wanted it to look as blended out as possible. There are so many ways to create a smoky eye and this is actually a different way as how I would normally do because normally I would start with light colors and then go in with black at the end. But I wanted to do it the other way around in this video to show you that you can do it this way as well. Now, of course, everything I'm doing at the one side, I'm also doing at the other side. I'm not sure if you guys like it when I show you both eyes. I feel like it makes the video so much longer, but I just decided to include a little bit of the other eye as well. So I went in with the black shade first, then I blended it out with the brown color. And if you feel like you need a little bit extra black eyeshadow, you can always go back in and blend even more. Then I went in with this eyeliner, which is the Sigma Beauty Wicked Gel Eyeliner, uh, which I'm going to use all over my eyelid. And this is going to make it super black and smoky. So I'm just using a flat brush and applying it in the center of the eyelid. And then with whatever's left on my brush, I'm going to smudge it out. And I'm kind of going to blend it into the black eyeshadow. And the point is just to hopefully <laughs> have everything blend into each other. My tip is just to not apply the gel eyeliner too high. You can always connect it with a little bit more of black eyeshadow, but you just want to make sure that the eyelid is black and then around the edges, you can always go in with some more black eyeshadow to make the gel eyeliner like seamlessly blend into the black eyeshadow you applied like earlier. So this is how it's looking close up. I think it's actually looking quite well and again I'm doing it at the other eye as well first applying the black jaw eyeliner and just kind of sweeping my brush back and forth and then going in with some black eyeshadow and blend this along the edges to make everything blend into each other also make sure you apply the black eyeshadow all over where you just applied the jaw eyeliner to really lock it in place I mean it's a really long wearing jaw eyeliner but it's a cream product so I would say just lock it in place with some powder and this will make it look even more long lasting. So now I'm going to go in with the color Vision, 
um, which is one of my favorite colors in the palette and I wanted to use it for today's look and it's just so pretty I love how it pops on top of the black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna apply it softly like in the center and then with whatever's left on my brush I'm gonna like swipe it a little bit more towards the edges to kind of fade it out so I wanted the most product to be in the center of the lid and then just around that to look a little bit more softer so it blends into the black eyeshadow and if you want it to really pop you can also make your brush wet then go in the shade and apply a little bit of that in the center and you will get like a really nice just intense shimmery effect on the center of the eyelid which I really like um, so I did that, I just applied a little bit more in the center and then I removed the eyeshadow guard because that was the last tap of the eyeshadow for the eyelid. So then of course doing the same thing at the other side. Um, if you don't have my palette but you're interested in getting it, I will link it down in the description bar. Um, I have been creating so many looks using it, um, so hopefully you will get plenty of inspiration on what you can do with it. I created some colorful looks, some smoky looks, some everyday looks. Um, so there's a lot you can do with it. Um, I also created a playlist where I added all the videos in that I made with the palette. So if you're searching for that, I will link that down in the description bar as well. Then now that I'm done with the eyeshadows, I went in with the gel liner again, the Wicca Gel Liner from Sigma. And now I'm gonna create a line above the lash line, which is gonna just create a line <laughs> basically and when I'm going more like around the outer part where I'm applying the eyeliner right now I'm gonna blend it up more upwards to create more of like a smoky lifted effect if that makes sense I'm applying it way higher and way more towards the center part than how I would normally do it but it gives a really cool effect and then I just smudged it out a little bit with black eyeshadow to make the edges less harsh so this is how it's currently looking. I really like it. It's something different than I've done before. I mean, I've done like similar looks, but never with like a really sharp edge like I have because I use the eyeshadow guards, um, but I really liked it. it. Even though I use the, the eye lift tape, so my eyes were already super lifted. I feel like the eye look also made it even more lifted, if that makes sense. So I moved all the fallout and then I went in with the aqua pencil from Makeup Forever in the black color. It's one of my favorite black pencils. It's so black and I feel like compared to other pencils, it just stays in place really nicely. Another palette that I, a palette, another pencil that I really like is the Makeup by Mario pencil. Uh, mine is empty. I used it a lot, um, but maybe I will repurchase or I will stick to using this one, but both of them are just really good. So then I used a Sigma flat definer brush and used this all the way underneath the lower lash line, just really pressing it as tight as possible underneath the lower lash line and also slightly on top of the waterline to make it as black as possible. Also using powder on top of your waterline uh, makes the pencil in your waterline more long lasting as well. So. Of course, if you're wearing contacts, you want to be a bit careful. Just really make sure you tap off the excess product of your brush so it doesn't come in your eye. But like, it's fine. Like I've done it so many times and it always works really well. So then I blended out the lower lash line using that same brown color that we used for the crease. And then I just used some mascara to coat my lashes. I am going in with some false lashes, um, which are the sultry lashes from Sigma Beauty. They're quite dramatic, but I mean, this is a quite dramatic eye look as well. So yeah, this is the finished result. I really hope you all like how it turned out. Um, I showed some full face videos on my Instagram as well. I will link it down here as well. So you can see the full face makeup look with this eye look. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys like it as well. Let me know if you're going to try it out. And if you want to see more of these super intense smoky eye looks, and yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. It's really helpful for my YouTube channel. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.